All right, today we're going to demonstrate the 90 degree uniform layer, which will be part of your state board exam and your Skills USA um, contest if you chose to um, compete in the cosmetology department. Um, we are going to start with a Deborah. We've shampooed her, we've sectioned her into four equal portions or into quads, um, and we've left out half an inch for the nape area. So this is where you're gonna begin with your practices. At state board, we have to come in and determine our length and actually cut our very first baseline perimeter with our old-fashioned razor. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna measure at the bottom of the hairline and we're going to cut this mannequin to five inches all the way around. This will um, begin our, establish our length for the entire haircut. The reason it's called a uniform haircut is because you're going to cut the entire length of every hair in this haircut at five inches. So no matter where you pull hair from, you should be able to lift it and measure it to five inches, okay? So we've cut our baseline perimeter, and now we're done with our razor. That's the only portion of the state board haircut that you're going to have to use with your razor. Our next step is to take half an inch from each section and create our mohawk perimeter or interior guideline. So here we've established our interior guideline from the very front hairline all the way back down to the nape and our perimeter that we've started. We're going to cut our interior guideline to five inches so that way we have um, a guideline with every section that we take. Uh, we're going to measure at the very top of the head which is considered the apex, the highest portion of the head. We're going to do five inches again At this point, we're going to take smaller sections, holding our hair at 90 degrees, not cutting past our second knuckle, and working all the way to the front hairline. Creating a very uniform 90 degree haircut. At this point we've taken our interior guideline and we've created five inches from the apex to the front. We're going to do the very same thing all the way back down to the other side, to the nape. So you're going to come right back up to the apex, find your interior guideline, and begin holding the hair at 90 degrees, straight up from where it grows. Notice that as I get to the crown, I'm not over-directing forward or over-directing back. I'm holding it exactly 90 degrees out from where the hair grows from the scalp. As we move to the crown, the uh, occipital bone, and past the crown area down to the nape, a lot of times it's much easier to swap your hand position and your body position and move to palm to palm, meaning that I'm going to come in from the bottom. I'm going to find my interior guideline. My palm is facing up, and as I cut, I'm going to be palm to palm. This will help eliminate any body fatigue, 
um, and positions that are uncomfortable. As I continue to pull out 90 degrees, I will eventually meet up with the very bottom perimeter. And if you see, we'll have um, a top and a bottom guideline and be able to cut the hair in between because we've established five inches here and five inches from everywhere else. So we will marry it down to the very bottom. So we've created our perimeter. We've created our interior guideline at five inches. And the next thing that we're gonna do is start on our left side and work our way all the way around to the right side, um, cutting our pie sections all at five inches. If you're left-handed, you're actually gonna start on the right side and move to the left side. I'm gonna take one quadrant down at a time so that I'm not working um, with too much hair or creating too much um, of a mess for me to work with. I'm gonna take my partings and bring everything right back up to the interior guideline, holding it 90 degrees, and once again, moving down as I'm cutting where it's straight out from the head. Taking my next section, pulling it up, begin with my interior guideline, and moving all the way down. Making sure that you're holding tension as you're bringing your hair out at 90 degrees. Finding your guideline. and continuing to cut. Once I get done with this quadrant, I should be able to measure anywhere in this particular section, and if I'm holding the hair straight out from the head, it will all measure five inches. So you can see that in this particular quadrant, um, we now can take and measure this at five inches. We could take a section out here, measure it at five inches, and we can also measure from underneath the ear at five inches, and everything is gonna measure five inches, creating very uniform from one section of the head all the way down to the next. So we're going to continue to work in quadrants. I'm gonna move um, to the next quadrant and continue to work. Something that's really important is that as you're working, make sure that you're keeping the hair very wet as well as good clean sections as you're cutting. It gives you much more control um, and visibility as you're working. In these back two sections, as we get back down to the occipital bone, 
there's a lot of times where it's much easier to finish the very bottom portion of the haircut if you'll turn your body and switch sides like this and do palm to palm. So I'm going to come and find my guideline again, which is right here, and cut palm to palm these last few sections of the cut. Now you're also able to see my bottom guideline and my top guideline. And if this is done correctly, you're going to be able to take your haircut right down to that bottom guideline without ever cutting any of it and blending or marrying the two together, which you're also matching them up. I'm going to switch my body back around as I take the next section and bring it to the top, finding where I will pull it out at 90 degrees. Something to always uh, be aware of is that you're not over directing your hair forward too much or pulling it back to you and that you're staying right in line with where it grows from the scalp and bringing it all the way down. Once again, as I get to right where the occipital bone is, I'm going to switch my body around and finish out the last few cuts palm to palm. just matched up into our interior guideline. So in that particular section, there wasn't quite as much to cut. But as you're working, you can see that this is a layered haircut, very layered haircut, um, all the way through. Same thing, if I took and measured um, everywhere that I take my comb and pull hair 90 degrees out from the head, I'm going to be able to measure that at five inches, which is create what creates the uniform. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our third section. Occasionally, students will feel more comfortable at clipping this away to, to create just um, more separation between what they've done and what they haven't done, um, but it's not necessary. Make sure to continue to wet down the sections that you're working with. Creating good, clean partings. Finding my 90 degrees.
okay, as we begin our last section, we need to make sure to wet the hair down again. And remember, right in the center, you have your anterior guideline. So you're able to find the five inches at the very top, creating a really good clean section. section all the way top to the top, meeting your guideline and working all the way back down. finish this haircut. You can see that we've created layers throughout the entire thing and we will come back and check making sure that there are no stragglers or lengths. But once again, if you take your comb and you measure everywhere on this haircut, you're able to pull out all lengths and it'd be five inches long to create a uniform, very symmetrical haircut. <laughs>